friends, welcome back to math. Today we're going to be talking about unit rates, so make sure you have your unit rates assignment open, and we're going to go ahead and dive right in. This is playing off of everything we've been working on in ratios. Question 1. A milliliter of blood contains about 6,000 white blood cells for every 6 million red blood cells. How many red blood cells are there for each white blood cell? Okay. So we're comparing white blood cells and red blood cells. So I'm going to put red blood cells over white blood cells. And I'm going to put in both of those numbers. Got a lot of zeros. And 6,000. Okay. Now I want to figure out how many red blood cells there are for each one white blood cell right so the first thing i'm going to do is cross out these zeros that simplifies it a little much a little more now i've got six thousand over six i already see they have a factor in common they both have a six i know six divided by six equals one which is what i'm looking for and if i take six thousand divide it by six 6 divided by 6 equals 1, add those three zeros, there are 1,000 red blood cells for every one white blood cell, which for question 1 is option C. We're just solving to find out the basic ratio, how many there are per every one. Question 2. The 20 toilets in the football stadium require a 6,100-gallon septic system. How large of a septic system does one toilet require? So we're comparing toilets to gallons. For 20 toilets, it requires 6,100 gallons. We want to figure out how many gallons one toilet requires. So I'm going to fill in what I know. And I'm going to solve 20 divided by 20 equals 1, which means I do the same to the bottom. 6,100 divided by 20. I see I can cross out a 0 on both and make it 610 divided by 2. That's a little bit easier. Let's start with the 6. 2 goes into 6 3 times. Write the 3. 3 times 2 equals 6. Write the 6. Now subtract. 6 minus 6 equals 0, write the 0, bring down the 1. 2 goes into 1, 0 times, write the 0, bring down the 0. 2 goes into 10, 5 times, write the 5. 5 times 2 equals 10, write the 10, now subtract. 10 minus 10 equals 0. 305 gallons. Which if we go back to question 2, is option A, 305 gallons. Okay, question three. A partnership of five doctors will net $637,000 in income this year. If they divide the income evenly, how much will each doctor get? So, I already see the word divide here. I know I am dividing 637000 evenly. Evenly amongst five doctors. So we are going to take this number and divide it amongst five doctors. Let's start with five goes into six. Five goes into six one time. Write the one. One times five equals five. Write the five. Now subtract. Six minus five equals one. Write the one. Bring down the three. Five goes into thirteen two times. Write the two. Five times two equals ten. Write the ten. Now subtract. Thirteen minus ten equals three. Write the three. Bring down the 7. 5 goes into 37 7 times. Write the 7. 7 times 5 equals 35. Write the 35. Now subtract. 37 minus 35 equals 2. Write the 2. Bring down the 0. 5 goes into 20. 4 times. Write the 4. 5 times 4 equals 20. Write the 20. Now subtract. 20 minus 20 equals 0. Write the 0. 
bring down the zero. Five goes into zero, zero times. Bring down the zero. Five goes into zero, zero times. Write the zero. So if we were to divide it up five ways evenly, each doctor should get $127,400. Let's look at our answers for question three. Hmm, looks like it is none of these. Our option D, none of these. That was a good division problem. I liked it. Each of the seven soccer teams raised money by selling candy bars in front of the grocery store. Each team raised the same amount of money. The teams raised $2,422 altogether. What was the total amount of money raised by each team? Okay, so each team raised the same amount, and there were seven teams. So I'm going to take how much they raised all together, which is 2,422, and divide it by the number of teams, which is seven. Divide it by the number of teams. Okay. I'm going to start with 24. 7 goes into 24 three times. Write the 3. 3 times 7 equals 21. Write the 21. Now subtract. 24 minus 21 equals 3. Write the 3. Bring down the 2. 7 goes into 32 four times. Write the 4. 4 times 7 equals 28. Write the 28. Now subtract. 32 minus 28 equals 4. Write the 4. Bring down the 2. 7 goes into 42 six times. Write the 6. 6 times 7 equals 42. Write the 42. Now subtract. 42 minus 42 equals 0. Write the 0. Each team uh, raised $346. Or for question 4, option C. Find option C. Question 5. Mrs. Rashid loaned her son $40,200 to buy a boat. She did not charge interest, and the son repaid the loan with 20 equal payments. What was the amount of each payment? So when I see a question that asks me each or every, right, I know that I need to find out the cost of one. So we know that he paid $40,200 in 20 payments. Each payment tells me how much did he make in just one. Since 20 divided by 20 equals one, I'm going to divide 40,200 by 20. I immediately see a shortcut here. I can cross out these zeros and make my life a little bit easier. Now we can start dividing. 2 goes into 4 2 times. Write the 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. Write the 4. Now subtract. 4 minus 4 equals 0. Write the 0. Bring down the 0. 2 goes into 0, 0 times, write the 0, bring down the 2. 2 goes into 2, 1 time, write the 1. Two, 1 times 2 equals 2, write the 2, now subtract. 2 minus 2 equals 0, write the 0, bring down the 0. 2 goes into 0, 0 times, and I have nothing left to bring down. So each payment was $2,010 which for question number five is option C. Find option C. Okay, question six. Lily is a real estate agent and just sold a 45 acre parcel of farmland for $81,900. What was the price per acre for this parcel of land? So I'm looking for per acre. I'm going to go up to my acres. I have 45 acres, which means I'm going to divide by 45 to find how much it costs per acre. I start with 81,900 divided by 45 acres. Let's get started. 45 goes into 81. I know 45 times 2 is 90, which is too big. So 45 goes into 81 one time. Write the 1. 1 times 45 equals 45. Write the 45. Now subtract. 
1 minus 5 equals can't do it. Go next door. Take 10 more. 11 minus 5 equals 6. Write the 6. 7 minus 4 equals 3. Write the 3. Bring down the 9. 45 goes into 369. Hmm. If I cover up the last digit on both of these numbers so I can round, I know 4 goes into 36 9 times. Both these numbers are bigger. I'm going to try a 9. I'm going to try a 9. Well, but since both these numbers are bigger, should I try a 9? I'm going to try one below. We'll try an 8. If you want to try a 9, go ahead and do that and we'll see what we get. 8 times 5 equals 40. Write the 0, carry the 4. 8 times 4 equals 32, plus 4 equals 36. Write the 36, now subtract. 9 minus 0 equals 9. Write the 9, 36 minus 36 equals 0. Don't write the 0. Perfect. Our remainder is small enough. Bring down the 0. 45 goes into 92 times. Write the 2. 2 times 45 equals 90. Write the 90, now subtract. 90 minus 90 equals 0. Write the 0. Bring down the 0. 45 goes into 0. 0 times. My answer is 1,820 dollars per acre. 1,820 dollars per acre. Or for question 6, option C. Okay, question 7. A $135 deep sea fishing trip was shared equally among five friends. How much did each person pay for the trip? I'm looking at each person. There are five people, so I'm going to be dividing by five. 135 divided by five. Let's give it a go. Five goes into 13, two times, write the two. Five times two equals 10, write the 10, now subtract. 13 minus 10 equals 3, write the 3, bring down the 5. 5 goes into 35, 7 times, write the 7. 7 times 5 equals 35, write the 35, now subtract. 35 minus 35 equals 0, write the 0. What's the answer? $27 per person, or option A for question 7. Okay, question 8. A car traveled at 405 kilometers in five hours. What is its average rate of speed? Its average rate of speed is how far it travels in one hour. So right now we've got kilometers over hours. We have 405 kilometers in five hours. We want to find out how long it traveled in one hour. To get from five to one, I divide by five, which means I do the same to my top, 405 divided by 5. 5 goes into 40 8 times. Write the 8. 8 times 5 equals 40. Write the 40. Now subtract. 40 minus 40 equals 0. Write the 0. Bring down the 5. 5 goes into 5 1 time. Write the 1. 1 times 5 equals 5. Write the 5. Now subtract. 5 minus 5 equals 0. Write the 0. My answer is 81 kilometers per one hour. For question eight, 81 kilometers per one hour. Option A. Okay, question nine. A car traveled at 296 kilometers in four hours. What is its average rate of speed? Its average rate of speed is how far it travels in one hour. So on this one, we also have kilometers over hours. 296 kilometers in four hours. We need to figure out how many kilometers that is in one hour. So to go from four to one, I divide by four, which means I'm doing the same to my top. 296 divided by four. Let's give it a go. Four goes into 29. 7 times, write the 7. 4 times 7 equals 28. Wait, yeah, 28, write the 28. Now subtract 29 minus 28 equals 1. Write the 1.
bring down the 6. 4 goes into 16 4 times. Write the 4. 4 times 4 equals 16. Write the 16. Now subtract. 16 minus 16 equals 0. Write the 0. What's the answer? 74 kilometers in one hour. 74 kilometers in one hour, which for question 9 is B. Question 10. A swimmer swims a quarter of a mile in 12 minutes. How far does she swim in one hour? Okay, so we've got miles and hours. She swims a quarter of a mile, which is 0.25 of a mile in 12 minutes. I'm actually going to make this miles in minutes. We want to know how far she swims in one hour. But my scale is already on minutes. So instead of writing one for hour, I'm going to put 60. 60 minutes. We need to figure out how far that is. I know to get from 12 to 60, I multiply by 5. So I do the same on the top. 0.25 times 5. Let's move my decimal over two places. Ready? Go. 5 times 5 equals 25. Write the 5, carry the 2. 5 times 2 equals 10, plus 2 equals 12. Write the 12. Move it out. Move it back in two places. I get 1 and 25 hundredths of a mile. Which, if we look at our options for question 10, that's 1.25 miles in an hour, option B. Question 11. A marathon runner runs 26 miles in 5 hours and 30 minutes. What is the runner's average speed in miles per hour? Okay, for this one, it tells us we're talking about miles and hours. He runs 26 miles in 5 hours and 30 minutes. I'm going to put that as 5 and a half hours. We know 30 minutes is half an hour. We want to figure out how many miles he goes in 1 hour. I know to get from 5 and a half to 1, I just divide by itself, divide by 5 and a half, which means I do the same to my top number, 26 divided by five and a half. Now a little refresher for us is when we have a decimal on the outside of our division, we have to move that decimal. Once I move that decimal, I have to move on the inside as well and add a zero. So my new division problem turns into 55 goes into 260. Okay. Now I know 55 can't go into 26, so I have to divide into the whole thing. Let's cover up my last digit and see what we can solve. I know 5 goes into 26 five times, but these numbers are bigger than that, so I'm going to lower that just one more and try a 4. Let's try a 4 here. Let's multiply. 4 times 5 equals 20. Write the 0, carry the 2. 4 times 5 equals 20, plus 2 equals 22, write the 22, now subtract. 0 minus 0 equals 0, write the 0. 6 minus 2 equals 4, write the 4. 2 minus 2 equals 0, don't write the 0. Okay, so I've got 4, but I still have a remainder. I can't have a remainder of a mile, so I want to write it as a decimal. I'm going to put my decimal point on and bring a zero down. 55 goes into 400. Well, let's see. If I cover up my last numbers, five goes into 48 times. So eight's pretty close, but like I said, 55 is bigger, so I'm gonna try a seven, just like we did before. Let's multiply and see what we get. Seven times five equals 35. Write the 5, carry the 3. 7 times 5 equals 35, plus 3 equals 38. Write the 38, now subtract. 0 minus 5 equals can't do it. Go next door, take 10 more. We have to do that twice. Turn the 0 into a 9, 4 into a 3. 10 minus 5 equals 5, write the 5. 9 minus 8 equals 1, write the 1. 
3 minus 3 equals 0. Don't write the 0. So I've got a remainder of 15. Now I'm going to take a look at my answer options right here. I see that they all go over one decimal spot. Hmm. Right now I'm at 4.7, so I'm going to go with option B, 4.7 for question 11. Okay. Now we're on to question 12. Sam wants to purchase a horse for $525. He wants to pay for the horse in five equal payments. How much will each of Sam's payments be? I see the word each here, so I know I'm solving for just one. Each of his payments. He has five equal payments. In order to find out how much one payment is, I would divide by five. Five divided by five equals one payment. So I do the same for 525. 525 divided by 5. 5 goes into 5 one time. Write the 1. 1 times 5 equals 5. Write the 5. Now subtract. 5 minus 5 equals 0. Write the 0. Bring down the 2. 5 goes into 2 zero times. Write the 0. Bring down the 5. 5 goes into 25 five times. Write the 5. 5 times 5 equals 25. Write the 25. Now subtract. 25 minus 25 equals 0. Write the 0. My answer is $105 per payment. $105 per payment. Let's look at my options for question 12. Looks like 105 is none of these, so that's going to be option C. Or C, option D. I don't know my letters anymore, apparently. I've been out of school for too long. Question 13. The gymnastics team wants to raise money to attend a national tournament. The team makes cinnamon rolls each night and sells them before school the next day. The table shows how much time is needed to make the cinnamon rolls. So we've got hours and dozens of cinnamon rolls. I'm going to write that down. Hours and dozens. How many cinnamon rolls can be made in each hour? So we know that in eight hours, they make 10 dozen. We're trying to find in one hour, how many cinnamon rolls do they make? I know that I can divide by eight. Eight divided by eight equals one. So I do the same to the bottom. 10 divided by eight. <laughs> 10 divided by eight. Let's solve this. 8 goes into 10 one time. Write the 1. 1 times 8 equals 8. Write the 8. Now subtract. 10 minus 8 equals 2. Write the 2. I want to write this as a decimal. So we're going to put our decimal point in. Bring down a 0. 8 goes into 22 times. Write the 2. 8 times 2 equals 16. Write the 16. Now subtract. 20 minus 16 equals 4. Write the 4. Bring down a 0. 8 goes into 40 five times, write the 5. 5 times 8 equals 40, write the 40, now subtract. 40 minus 40 equals 0. They can make 1 and 25 hundredths of a cinnamon roll in one hour. I'm going to write that in my box below. 1.25 cinnamon rolls per hour. There's a part B, so I'm going to add a comma and get started on part B. If the team sold 210 cinnamon rolls in one morning, how much time did they spend making them? So once again, we've got hours, and instead of dozens, I'm gonna put cinnamon rolls, right? Because this doesn't say 210 dozens. It says 210 cinnamon rolls, so I need to pay attention to the, the language here. So in eight hours, they make 10 dozen. There's 12 in a dozen. 10 times 12 equals 120 cinnamon rolls. If they make 210, how long did they spend on it? How many hours? Hmm. 
So I'm going to start with what I solved down here. That's a little bit of extra information. In one hour, they make one point two five cinnamon rolls. So that's some extra information. And I know that I can divide 1.25 by 1.25 to get 1. So I can do the same to solve over here. Divide by 1 and 25 hundredths. And that's how I'm going to solve for my number of hours. So let's do 210 divided by 1.25. Remember when we divide with the decimal on the outside we need to move it twice which means on the inside I move it twice and add two zeros. So we've got our new problem set up. I'm going to underline 210 that's what I start with. I'm going to cover up the zero in the five. 12 goes into 21 one time and so I'm going to try a 1. 1 times 125 equals 125. Now subtract. 0 minus 5 equals can't do it. Go next door. Take 10 more. 10 minus 5 equals 5. Write the 5. 0 minus 2 equals can't do it. Go next door. Take 10 more. 10 minus 2 equals 8. Write the 8. Bring down the 0. Once again, I'm going to do a cover cover method. 12 goes into 85. Hmm. Think about it. 12 goes into 85. Six times, right? The six. We're going to try a 6 here. 6 times 5 equals 30. Write the 0, carry the 3. 6 times 2 equals 12, plus 3 equals 15. Write the 5, carry the 1. 6 times 1 equals 6, plus 1 equals 7. Write the 7, now subtract. 850 minus 750 equals 100. Bring down the 0. Now I've got 125 goes into 1,000. Mm. 1,000. Well, let's see. I know 12 goes into 100 a little less than 10 times. 9 times is too big. We'll try 8 times. 8 times 5 equals 40. Write the 0, carry the 4. 8 times 2 equals 16, plus 4 equals 20, write the 0, carry the 2. 8 times 1 equals 8, plus 2 equals 10, write the 10, now subtract. 1,000 minus 1,000 equals 0, write the 0. My answer is 168, 168 minutes is how long they spent on it. Okay, that answers it for question 13. Whew, that was a longer one. Good job, guys, for staying through and doing that with me. Question 14. A truck can drive 150 miles use in three hours using 10 gallons of gasoline. How long will it take the truck to drive 600 miles if it travels at the same rate? So the rate it's talking about is miles per hour. So I know I'm comparing miles and hours. It can travel 150 miles in three hours. We want to find out how long it will take to travel 600 miles. How many hours that will be. Now I can either solve top to bottom or left to right on this one. Mm. Well, I see a 3 and a 15. So I know that I can... Divide 15 by 5 to get 3. I just have this extra 0, so I add that in. 150 divided by 50 equals 3. 
so I can do the same to my other side. 600 divided by 50, I'm going to cross out a 0 on both sides to make this easier for myself. 5 goes into 60, 12 times, right, the 12, which means that my truck can travel 600 miles in 12 hours, you're going to write 12 hours. Perfect. I want you to do questions 15, 16, 17, and 18 on your own. They are all unit rate questions. After that, you're going to head on over to IXL and do skill R.8. That is going to be on unit rates as well. Best of luck. See you all tomorrow.